All right, welcome back. Uh, what I'm gonna do with this video is kind of demystify, you know, airflow and try to, you know, make it a little bit more commonplace or just easy to understand for the newer techs out there. And like I said, this is going to be in a pretty controlled environment. So you're not gonna have any register grills or anything like that to account for. So yeah, it's not going to be real world, but it's definitely going to capture the accuracy of the tools and how they respond to different um, air flows and things like that. So since I got the Testo 416, I also got a field piece large vein anemometer. I'm gonna go ahead and start try to test those against one another, see if they're within spec, see if those things still are, are calibrated properly. So yeah, this um, 416, I paid um, I think $100 for it off of eBay. It's like a $600 instrument. I also got this large vein as well off of eBay for $30. Pretty good deal. I just like the eBay shops, these two here. I think I bought those new, but either way. So we're gonna go ahead and test all those and see how they work up against the manufacturer's spec. Um, as you can see on the IQ Air, it actually measures the um, CFM that should be that should be um, being put out by the, from the factory. So as you can see, if I hit you know up to the next speed, speed three, that's 130. That's 170 for speed four, 200 for speed five, and then I got 300 CFM for speed six. So the manufacturer has a spec sheet as well that uh, shows how their testing measured up against the design CFM. So as you can see, they measure 35, speed one, 69 CFM for speed two, and so on. So um, as you, I'll be pretty interested to see how my instruments measure up against what they use. I'm pretty sure it doesn't tell what they used, I don't think here, but I'm pretty sure they didn't use anything cheap. Um, so stay tuned. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just uh, pull the top off of this IQ Air, and I'm gonna put the CPS Easy Flow hood on top of the filter. That way I can actually get the air um, coming through channeling at a six by six funnel. All right, looks good. Let's go ahead and get this Testo 416 up and active now. I've got the probe dead center here. Speed one, we're reading 52 CFM, dead center. Let's get our traverse. Gonna wanna hold this here, 36 square inches, that's perfect. That again, finish, I mean. All right, now all we have to do, start up here. So. So we're showing 51 CFM. Okay, so we're 10 CFM higher than the rated and 15 CFM higher than what they've, the manufacturer put out. Okay. 85 CFM on speed two, should be 75. Manufacturer got 69. 130. Eight on speed three, should be 130 design, and the manufacturer got 123. All right, 174 on speed four, design 170, manufacturer got 165. So as you can see, this here 416 is reading consistently high. Let's keep it up. All right, 210 on speed five. It's rated for 200. The manufacturer got 201. All right, so we got 287. For speed six, it's rated for 300. And the manufacturer got 
283. All right, that was just a quick demonstration of how I test my used instruments. As a matter of fact, uh, really any instrument. Uh, you want to check your instruments periodically just to make sure they're uh, reading accurately. So whether they're used or new or whatever, yeah, all in all, I was pretty satisfied with the uh, performance of the 416. Although it was a little bit high on the uh, lower uh, velocity, lower air flows, it was pretty pretty accurate toward the middle range and the higher range. So pretty good. Not to mention, you know, it's a pretty old unit, so it's with, it's with a, it's definitely within the tolerances for its you know the fact that being used in its age. So all in all, it's a pretty good pretty good buy. Also, stay tuned for the other videos. Um, I'm going to be doing the same test on the uh, 405i, the AAV3, and the uh, field piece hot wire that I've got there. Also, yeah, the CPS, I forgot, the uh, CPS ABM200. Yeah, it actually does pretty decent in that little um, easy flow. So, yeah, stay, stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next one.